Log on to patreon.com forward slash Dane Calloway or paypal.me forward slash Dane Calloway to support me, my channel, and my content. By demand, merchandise is now available at I'm just here to make you think.com. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I just wanted to go over this topic briefly with you guys um, concerning a lot of information dealing with this topic. It was a hot topic on my Facebook, so I decided to go ahead and create a video about it. And maybe you could give your comments down below and tell me what you think. Um, but it's concerning the Cherokee Freedmen. And uh, what happened was on August 30th, a U.S. district judge by the name of Thomas Hogan, uh, he ruled that the Cherokee Freedmen can now officially join the Cherokee Nation, which is the second largest tribe in the United States. Now, this lawsuit dates back uh, to the year of 2003, where descendants of the freedmen who were either enslaved by or made as indigenous servants of the European and Mongoloid Cherokee Indians, uh, they sued Cherokee Nation which is a federally recognized tribe of the quote, five civilized tribes. They sued them over civilization rights. Now the Cherokee Freedmen's argument is surrounding the Treaty of 1866, which was signed between the US government and the Cherokee based in Taliqua, Oklahoma. Now the Treaty of 1866 clearly states that all the rights of native Cherokees will be passed along to the tribe's descendants. And that is very important to note here because uh, they have a strong argument concerning that fact. Now, the federal government granted the descendants of the freedmen their legal right to tribal citizenship after the lawsuit. So that's good news. Now, under the ruling, the Cherokee freedmen gain all the rights the tribal citizens enjoy today, okay? Uh, this also includes the right to run for office, vote in election, and receive benefits, which also includes tribal health care and housing. You know, a lot of them say they don't have this, but they do. Now, in a statement that I'm about to read here, um, the Cherokee Nation Attorney General uh, Todd Hembry, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. His name is Todd, Todd Hembry. He basically said the tribe doesn't plan to appeal the ruling. He stated, quote, the Cherokee Nation respects the rule of law. And yesterday we began accepting and processing citizenship applications from freedmen descendants. And then he later on stated, while the U.S. District Court ruled against the Cherokee Nation, I do not see it as a defeat. As the Attorney General, I see this as an opportunity to resolve the freedmen citizenship issue and allow the Cherokee Nation to move beyond this dispute. Now, it's alleged that the ruling directly affects more than 2,800 freedmen at this time. Uh, but an attorney for the group, which his name is John Valley, uh, attorney for the group meaning the Cherokee freedmen, he says there are many, or, or rather more than 25,000 who are now eligible for citizenship. So the judge Thomas Hogan wrote in his ruling, quote, the Cherokee nation can continue to define itself as it sees fit, but must do so equally and even handedly with respect to native Cherokees and the descendants of Cherokee freedmen. Now the president of the Oklahoma city based descendants of the freedmen of all of the five civilized tribes, her name is Marilyn Van. Uh, she basically was like, Nobody wants to have their rights stripped away. Okay, so she stated, um, as, as a matter of fact, she was a plaintiff in this lawsuit. And she stated, quote, I think the judge made it clear that the freedmen people have rights just like the rest of the citizens have rights. And we can't be removed at the whim of this chief or that chief. And she continued on to say, going forward, I am hoping that the tribe will come together and just be Cherokee. Cherokee people and not freedmen. 
and maybe we can become the most powerful tribe in the entire country. Now, as of today, there are less than 3,000 freedmen registered with the tribe. Van believes that the total number is closer to around 30,000 uh, due for registering with the tribe. The Cherokees were among the several Native American tribes that owned slaves in the territories they originally inhabited in present-day Georgia, Alabama, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, just to name a few. And in 1838, the U.S. government forced them to relocate to present-day Oklahoma, in which I talked about already in my video called The Trail of Tears. You can actually go back and check it out. I put it in full detail to let you know, yes, we were involved in that as far as copper color people. And of course, now um, the tribal leaders had previously argued that they have the fundamental right to make the decision of who is a Cherokee. OK, they stated that descendants of the freedmen will have to prove they have native ancestry to be allowed in. Now, uh, a lot of you will probably say that that's difficult to do, but it's really not. Uh, they just trying to make it seem as if it is because they don't, you know, apparently some of them don't want you there. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, if they don't want us there, why do we want to go there? You know, I mean, we'll just, I say it like this. <clears throat> Me personally, if I were you, I would find out who my family is, period. Because a lot of you were told by your grandmothers or your grandparents that you are, you know, have some lineage to Indian. I mean, it, it never fails. It won't ever fail. Uh, but you guys need to check out your backgrounds of your family, do genealogy on your family. Yeah. And that's, that's really not hard to do at all. Uh, it's just, it just takes some research. A lot of people would need to do their research on their family, uh, to find that out. And while I'm, you know, while I'm on that topic, it's a lot of people that are, you know, relying on these DNA tests and, or these genealogy DNA tests, rather, not the, not the paternity or the paternal, not the paternal DNA test, the genealogy test. Uh, you guys are relying on that. And here we go. I'm, I'm just going to state something here. Just put this out here to let you guys know. Those genealogy DNA tests are not welcomed inside of a courtroom at all. Like They don't accept that paperwork as official documentation of your ancestry. So why would you accept it outside of a courtroom? Okay. Why would you accept that outside of a courtroom? It won't work for you. It doesn't help anything. You just wasted $200. I mean, that doesn't solve anything for you guys. Um, what you really need to do is do your own genealogy research on your family's background. I mean, literally go document per document, go back, you know, birth certificates, death certificates. You really need to get, you know, a hold of your family's ancestry by documentation. It was documented. Now, for those of you that have already done that or beginning the process, um, I do have something that will assist you guys as far as direction is concerned. Uh, go ahead and click the link below um, where I give the assistance for uh, how to find your native tribe. I think it's down in the description below. That will assist you on directions, you know, so you won't get stuck. Where can you look for this stuff? Because that's mainly what it is. People don't know where to look or people don't know where to go. Okay. Um, and it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult, especially when you get, you know, maybe some, a few of your family members involved, or even if you just want to do it for yourself, just to have it. Many of you probably will want to do that and turn around and you are a Cherokee. I mean, keep in mind, those numbers are pretty low. They're saying 30,000, but Cherokee was huge. Before it was called Cherokee, you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to go into a history lesson here, but, um, yeah, a lot of you need to know that. And as well as a lot of the uh, descendants of the freedmen are owed money. And I don't mean just from the Cherokee. I'm talking about as far as the freedmen banks are concerned. And one of my documentaries I put out called the untold truth about the Negro wall street. I shared with you information. I don't know why a lot of people didn't get that right away. But I want to mention this again. I shared information concerning the Freedman Banks. Uh, a lot of you are descendants of people that went into the uh, Civil War and fought. Okay. They were given money and they also put up, you know, their money that they made, whether they were working or not. They put that inside of the bank and, 
Uh, so did Frederick Douglass. He put up his own money and that money is sitting there and it's owed to the descendants by law. It's owed to the descendants sitting inside of these uh, Freedman banks right now. Now, how do you track that? Well, I also have that inside of the um, documents that I'm telling you about um, when you uh, trace your native trap, because you want to know that you want to know for a fact that, I mean, yeah, get it. If it's owed to you, get it. Get there. I mean, don't sit there and say, oh, and turn your nose up when you don't know. You got to do the research. That's the whole thing. Do the research and find out. It's owed to you. Now, I'm not sitting here and saying, oh, we're, you know, we're going to get the 40 acres and a mule. I'm not going to say that because we're owed way more than that. Okay. And there are a lot of tribes that established themselves and got way more than that. And I'm talking about outside of just the five civilized tribes. There are hundreds of federally recognized tribes right now that people are just not talking about. I guess because they're just not commonly known. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna do document you know documentaries on all of them or so you could you know know what's going on here. But yeah, don't turn your nose up because of the fact that you uh, have to do research. Don't turn your nose up. This is old to you guys. And Cherokee was huge. Cherokee was huge. Ten, you're talking about Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Alabama, Georgia. All of you guys probably do have family from those areas, and you don't know. I mean, try it out, find out, see, get what's old to you, you know, and we're going to be fighting to get the other tribes to shake their, you know, shake their feathers rather, lack of better words and no pun intended, but that needs to get done because we are the original people. We are indigenous to this land and we know it. Okay. And so do they, you know, with them snatching our stuff like that, we got to fight to get it back. There's only one way to do it. Yeah, I mean, especially with the five civilized tribes, because they took a lot of uh, those people that are involved inside of those tribes, took a lot of stuff um, from us, okay, that was already given to us previously. We're not going to get too far into that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is being, oh, just know that Cherokee is not the only one, okay, that's being sued at this time. Cherokee is not the only one. You got Seminole, Choctaw, um, hope I'm not forgetting them, anybody. Seminole, Choctaw, Chickasaw. Yeah, I mean, th this is... The list is going to continue to go on because once the awareness goes up, once everybody is cognizant of what's going on here, then yeah, it's going to ring some bells and, you know, we're going to, we're going to make noise in the courtroom. And that's what needs to get done. I mean, because this is what's owed to us. These treaties were already signed. These laws were already passed. Okay. And that's the thing. That's the thing. Once more people know about it, then we'll be able to get things done a lot quicker. Just here to make you think.